Hi, good morning. My name is Serena Shukri, I'm CEO of Malaysia Digital Economy Corporation. It's Saturday morning. I'm coming to you from Des Park City in Kuala Lumpur. I am so excited to be here um, with all of you today. Uh, I'm told that there's 5,000 um, participants uh, joining in online from various locations in Malaysia, in the region. So this is super exciting and I can't imagine doing anything else on a Saturday morning. And I wish this was actually live because I love being in this community. I love being amongst the builders and the and the and the visionaries and the entrepreneurs that are represented by the startup community. Um, I am a um, so so um, uh, I'm um, uh, caught uh, K, K Raman's speech earlier, uh, and I couldn't agree with with him more. Digital is the future, and um, and so we're here at MDEC trying to do our part. Uh, and for those of you who are not familiar with MDEC, uh, we're a, uh, a governmental agency uh, and we've been in the business of helping to build the digital ecosystem of Malaysia for close to 25 years now. Uh, and um, um, our core focus areas, you can think of it as uh, NADI or in Malay that's called PULSE. And the N stands nurturing new skills. D, uh, A is adopting digital, broadly accelerating digital adoption. Uh, D is disruptors, supporting disruptors. And then finally, investments, i.e. continuing to invest in, in digital. We're getting investors to invest in digital. So that's NADI, and that's what we stand for here at MDEC. So uh, I, I saw the lineup for today uh, and yesterday, and, and um, I understand it's a three-day conference, uh, jam-packed with lots of um, uh, content of to for this community. So I'm going to keep my remarks short. And uh, uh, and today I'm going to be sharing uh, some things most of you probably know already, but in case you didn't, um, it's it's uh, a couple of things that uh, I will uh, leave you with as we all go about our our journeys as builders of the digital ecosystem. Uh, let's go to the next slide. 10 things you probably didn't know or even. So first and foremost, KL. So we are a, a, a thriving startup ecosystem. Uh, last year, Startup Genome, um, which does the work of uh, researching and, 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 and looking at um, different ecosystems around the world, uh, ranked uh, Malaysia as the um, 11th among the emerging um, global startup ecosystem. And so we've been on our journey for quite some time now, um, at least, you know, five, six years, and we are at the stage of globalization. And so as a result, uh, there's plenty of things that's going on and uh, the world is our oyster, basically. Number two, in case you didn't know, uh, actually, we're still on number two. So, so um, yes, so, uh, Malaysia is currently ranked first in the GIFT index. So what is GIFT? It's Global Islamic FinTech. Uh, there's a huge opportunity ahead of us um, um, as a, in, in this space. We currently um, are the leader in that, uh, building upon the history that we have as a um, Islamic finance um, hub. And uh, so, the opportunity as it relates to the global Islamic economy is huge. It's a $2.3 trillion market, Islamic economy as a whole, and fintech is a sub portion of that. Uh, today, the Islamic fintech market in Malaysia is estimated to be about 3 billion US dollars and expected to grow 23% annually uh, to reach 8.5 billion by the year 2025. So, watch the case. A lot will come out from this space, which we are very, very excited about. Number three, uh, K. Raman just now mentioned my digital, and so we all know that um, um, so Malaysia has a, 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 a blueprint now. Uh, but core and central to that is the digitalization of businesses. So SMEs in Malaysia represent um, a core part of the the economy. Uh, there are approximately 900,000 SMEs in Malaysia, uh, and um, all of which are, are realizing that we now live in a world that's digital by default. 
And so digital is the way forward. And there we expect to have robust demand from the from digitalization of startups, which makes it very um, um, uh, interesting for for startups that provide digital services. According to Google on the consumer side, uh, and Kiram meant that also in his key, in keynote remarks, uh, according to Google, during the pandemic, five years worth of consumer digitalization happened in just one year alone. So think of that, there is a robust, um, um, ready um, um, uh, demand for digital services. So if you are a startup, there's plenty of opportunity to capitalize on that. Number four, so central to where we are today, central to development of digital economy, central to development of economy in general, uh, is the uh, growth through public and private partnerships. This is one area that the government is, is fully cognizant of and really championing. And so I think that uh, in order to accelerate digital development, collaboration between private sector and public sector is absolutely critical. And uh, we are doing more to in, in, in this regard. Uh, yeah. Um, um, uh, from an MDEC standpoint, we are very, very uh, working very vigorously with leading companies, corporates out there to help them drive their corporate innovation and uh, through that connecting many startups uh, toward in the ecosystem. If you go to the next slide, 5G. Actually, no, let's stay to number five. Yes, 5G is a core enabler of the digital economy. And this is one area that, that Malaysia is making huge investments in. Um, through uh, simultaneous with the announcement of my digital, digital blueprint, uh, the government also made announcements in terms of accelerating digital, uh, accelerating 5G um, through the creation of a digital uh, an SPV that will be tasked to, to build out the 5G infrastructure of Malaysia. Malaysia currently expects to have commercial 5G ne uh, middle of 2022. Certainly very exciting. And if you start up what this means for you, if you go to the next slide, we're poised to be an innovation test bedding center. And so the spirit of experimentation, the spirit of public private partnerships, uh, leveraging technology, particularly 5G technology, represents robust opportunity for, for startups, builders, and disruptors. Number seven. So what this means for you, startups? Um, um, one has to adopt a global mindset from day one. Um, Malaysia um, 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 is part of ASEAN, as we all know, and um, the opportunity is not just to expand and grow in Malaysia, but also to expand and scale in ASEAN. And so as a result, having a global mindset from day one is absolutely key. Number eight, fundraising is also very important. And uh, as a former financier, as a former startup advisor, one of the things that I would always advise startups is to always be thinking about, about fundraising. Sometimes you think about fundraising as just uh, something that's required, but really it's sales itself. And so always make sure that you've got a, your, your, your pitch ready because the appetite, the, 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 the investor appetite now in the region is robust. Uh, we're seeing a lot of activity pick up in Southeast Asia and activity pick, pick up in Malaysia itself too. Many of you are aware, the government last, no, actually several months ago announced Pinjana Capital, which is um, a, an effort to, to increase the capital that's going into the, the local ecosystem. And in this case, partnering with global venture capital funds and, and hoping to deploy into the system 1.3 billion ringgit worth of capital. Number nine, 
competition is intense and uh, in the startup um, culture, it, uh, the entrepreneurial culture is something that we're trying to cultivate at a very young age as well. One of the programs that MDAC has um, is called Digital Maker, My Digital Maker, which is something that we do with schools. There's about 2.1 um, million students that are uh, impacted by our My Digital Maker program. And the leads for the, 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 the leaders that come out of this program are what we call our digital ninjas. And uh, I feel very encouraged that the future is bright. We're seeing so much talent that's already going uh, embark not just on their digital and skills journey, but also on their entrepreneurial journeys. So digital ninjas will conquer the world, I'm sure. <laughs> um, and finally, where we're heading towards, number 10, is a future that's integrated where society is integrated with technology. This is the vision that we have for the future and it's something that we call Malaysia 5.0, uh, borrowing the concept of society 5.0 that, that Japan has adopted. Um, and so this is one, um, a world where, where society is deeply integrated with technology and that certainly represents the opportunity for all startups that's out there to embrace this, the, 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 to, and the visionaries that's out there to embrace this opportunity. Now, let's go to the next slide. So call to action. So um, the role that, that, that we play here from an M standpoint is really to be, think of us as your main cheerleader uh, to help you grow and to help you scale uh, into the ASEAN region to be global champions. Uh, and so just wanted to share in case you were not aware. Um, so uh, several of our key initiatives uh, to help support uh, startups and also help startup scale. So number one, uh, Malaysia Digital Hubs. So these are our, our uh, hubs that are designed to, to be the center of gravity as it relates to, to startup activity. Today, um, we have um, 21 um, digital hubs across Malaysia and we're uh, and, um, hosting over 600 hundred startups. Um, more than half of them are in the tech space and we hope to grow this some more to expand the community and build this community because ultimately what we want um, is um, is a robust and thriving startup community uh, number two uh, malaysia tech entrepreneur program mtech and so uh, this um, um, program allows uh, is all about uh, attracting founders um, into malaysia uh, the idea there being um, uh, to make it easy for founders to start businesses and um, um, in Malaysia. Number three, we are we'll be hosting. We're super excited about about uh, hosting the largest uh, tech conference in Southeast Asia. Rise, uh, who's made the decision to move from Hong Kong to have the conference in Malaysia. We're super excited to have Rise next year. So. It's part of a building a thriving ecosystem and to help globalize Malaysia and give exposure to founders and startups um, to to um, uh, different markets and and, uh, and and companies. Uh, founders Grindstone is a program that we have to help tech entrepreneurs um, um, perfect their 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 pitch. Um, and um, provide uh, coaching um, uh, as they ready up their their pitches to to investors. Look out for more detail on on that. And then finally, um, globalization and corporate innovation. Uh, as I mentioned before, there's um, corporates are very very eager to partner with startups now. And uh, just last year alone, we were able to identify and um, channel uh, close to 1,300 com um, startups uh, to corporates to help enable, to help the corporates solve their innovation needs. So really, these are some things that I thought it would be worthwhile to share with all of you. Um, so uh, I uh, wish everybody a, an exciting um, um, weekend jam-packed with content um, um, and uh, uh, the latest content um, around technology development. So with that, over to you, 
um, que é o Startup Summit. 